Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can import contacts as well as opportunities via a CSV file. So maybe you are moving systems from one CRM to this CRM and you want to upload all the contacts in bulk into your pipelines. That is now possible without needing to do anything manual. All right, first click on opportunities on the left, then opportunities at the top will be pre-selected. Click the drop down menu and select your pipeline. Click import top right corner, select contacts and opportunities and then hit next. Right here, you're being asked to upload a CSV file that contains both the contact and the opportunity data. Right here, you can also click download sample file and you will see how we would like you to format the CSV file. It should look something like this. The contact ID, the phone number, the email, first name, last name, business name, opportunity IDs, names, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now let's drag and drop that file right here. Then decide how you would like to import opportunities. Do you would like to create your opportunity? Or would you like to create and update opportunities in case you have already the contact existing inside that opportunity? Or would you like to to update opportunities only. We keep create opportunities right now since our pipeline is actually empty. Next up, choose how to import contacts. Click the drop down menu, you see create contact, create and update contact or update contacts. Let's create contacts. So if the opportunity ID is provided in your Excel sheet, the opportunity will be updated. If the opportunity ID is not provided, the system will create a new opportunity, okay? And also the contact deduplication settings will automatically be fetched from the global settings and cannot be changed during this uploading process. If you click settings right here, you'll be forwarded to the business profile where you can then turn on or off allow duplicate contacts, okay? Let's go back, then let's hit next. And here we have to map our data points. Now the system is really smart and it has already detected what it could be. Under contact, for example, the contact ID, right? It says contact. So if you click the drop down menu, you see contact and opportunity. So yep, we're gonna keep contact right here. Under the drop down fields, it was pre-selected contact ID. So here we go, that's perfect. Under phone, it already mapped the phone number. Under email, it did email. So here we change it to contact because it's not really an opportunity, right? And then select phone number because it's actually phone number, right? Then next up, email is mapped correctly. The name, first name, last name, very good. And so on and so forth. You just have to go through and map your details properly, okay? Once you have reviewed all of that, click next. And at the top, don't forget, you can actually create a smart list for newly created contacts from the import. Okay, I would suggest that. You could add contacts to a specific workflow if you want to welcome them. If you have some promotion going on, you can do that. And then you click the top down menu here and select any of your workflows. Let's uncheck this for now. And then you can also add tags to the contacts, which I also would recommend so that you can always keep track of who are these people, where did they come from. So you would click the drop down menu and select your tag. And that's it. Down here, you need to confirm that all contacts in this import have consented to hear from you, okay? That you have previously contacted them in the last year and that this list is not from a third party. And then you just click start bulk import. Now, while this is bulk importing, you can go to opportunities and then bulk actions at the top and you can see exactly what is happening here, the progress of that particular import. Then if you want to have more insights on the actual bulk action, click on it and a new window will pop up right here, which tells you, hey, all of these contacts and opportunities have been imported successfully or there was an error maybe, or there is even a warning. If you wanted to, you can scroll down again and download all this data again. And that's it already. This is how you import contacts and opportunities via CSV file to your pipelines. I hope you like this feature and I will see you in the next video.